I didn't want to cover this. I didn't want to do it. I didn't. Seriously, Bethesda. Seriously. I'm a huge fan of your games. What is happening? I'm hearing so much negativity. So much. And well, I'm finally giving in. I'm, I'm talking about it now. I've been covering content for this game since the get-go and, you know, since the beginning and there was tons of negativity. I just avoided it like, la la la, you know, nothing's really happening. And now I'm finally giving in. I'm about to be speaking of some things that, uh, let's just say, aren't so positive. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a player who had all of his characters deleted unexpectedly. Like he got no email, no notification whatsoever that his characters got deleted. Don't know if this dude's lying or not, but I'll be covering this and making more players aware that this is possible. I don't think he's lying because he was even getting so furious and started talking about a lawsuit until a lot of people were commenting saying he can't exactly do that. Also, I'm going to be talking about this player who apparently lost all of his items from a vault raid glitch. Now, I believe this is a true story. Bethesda did get back to him, and, well, let's just say what Bethesda had to say to him wasn't the greatest news. But I think they're working with him somehow. Let's just go ahead and jump into this. First off, if you aren't following my other social medias, what are you doing? I got a Twitter, I got an Instagram, and I live stream on Twitch. Come on now. All the links are down below in the description. Please, please, feel free to go follow them. That'd be greatly appreciated. So anyways, let me go ahead and open up my laptop. Let's go ahead and get into this Borderlands 3 news, as you can see. When I open it up, just BAM! You can just see that light shining on my face. Yeah, I'm a movie star. And I know, I said Borderlands 3. I was just playing. I'm actually going to be talking about this Fallout 76 news. I'm a big fan, still, of the game. It's just some things need to be addressed. And I hate talking about negativity. But here lately, there really isn't much positive to talk about. Like, yeah, I talked about the Vault 94 raid and why it's worth it to grind on expert mode. And when I made that video, let's just say half the comments was like, No, it's not. It's not worth the grind. It's a waste of time. Which, you know, I started to think about, like, maybe those comments were right. Why am I saying it's worth the time? It did take me a long time to get through it. And the reason why I was failing most of the time was because of bugs, delays, lags, you know, that kind of stuff. Then I started to realize, why am I defending a game that I'm having a lot of trouble with when playing. Maybe I should start being a little bit more harsh instead of acting like everything is just lolly jolly, rainbows and sunshines when it's not. No, not at all. If I enjoy this game, I should talk about the negatives, so hopefully the negatives are out of the game faster. So first things first, let's go ahead and get into all these characters that were deleted. If this ever happened to me, woo! Woo! I would be so angry, dude. I don't even know what I would actually do. Like, seriously. I would be... Oh, man. I've already invested over a thousand hours into this game. Like, if that... Oh, man. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So I can feel for this guy. I can see why he's angry. And he's furious. And by how much this guy is furious, I have a feeling he's not faking this. Even though... So far, he's the only person to actually report his characters unexpectedly getting deleted. He thinks it's from an unacceptable bug. That was his exact words. That's why I did this. You know, I'm not making fun of him because, yeah, uh, it is an unacceptable bug, dude, if you are watching this. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. This is on Bethesda's forums in the general discussion. As you can see, he made a post on the forums titled, Characters Deletion Without Email or Notification. I'll go ahead and read this all for you so you guys don't have to do that yourself. As you can see, yesterday, August 28, 2019, I was still able to play normally with all my characters. Today, however, August 29th, 2019, so this just happened a little bit ago. Around 9 a.m. at his time zone, he logged in to do some trading, and he noticed that all of his characters were gone. Okay, yeah, like, if that happened to me once again, oh man, I would be angry. And he mentions he didn't delete them, of course. And he also mentioned that he didn't give access to his account to anyone. He states that this is an unacceptable bug or something that you guys messed up. And he's implying Bethesda when he says you guys because he did post this on Bethesda's forums. He mentions that his other accounts still work fine, all characters are normal, only this account got bugged or something. He spent so much time to collect resources, trading and buying great weapons, armor, and items. His account even still has a screenshot of the characters. He mentioned that he did put a ticket on character deletion, but his ticket didn't go through for some reason. And his ticket numbers are blank, so he had to put his ticket on the login category. 
but he still has not received any response quite yet. And at the end he says, Bethesda, please resolve this problem. As you can see, here is a screenshot of his character with the Raider gear on, so I'm assuming that he did purchase the Raider pack, which wasn't cheap whatsoever. Yeah, as you can see, here's some of his other photos that he had in his photo gallery of his other characters. Yeah, they do say level 1, but most of the time that's just what happens. I'm actually level 246 on my main, and it still says I'm level 1. I also have an alt account that's level 87, and that one still says level 1 for some reason. I think that's just a little bug, not a big deal. But what happened here is a very, very big deal. The dude's account just disappeared, once again without no email or notification over why exactly. Now he's not exactly saying, I'm filing a lawsuit against Bethesda, but he is starting to talk about if this is legal or not to do to his account. As you can see, someone actually commented below his response saying, At Bethesda, this is a serious issue. He goes on and says that this is more serious than the guy who got some of his items deleted from a vault raid glitch. He mentions that all characters on the account were wiped clean. He says that it is illegal and compensation is a must for this kind of scenario. Now, other players are commenting saying that this isn't technically illegal because, you know, where is the evidence that Bethesda did this? He should actually be careful throwing around such claims. This is a matter for support and couldn't be dealt with on these forums anyways. If the player has multiple counts with multiple characters on each, there may be more to this, as while there is nothing wrong with that, it does beg the question as to why when you can only play as one at a time, and there are only so many hours in the day. Regardless of my speculation, this thread will get nowhere on these forums. And the guy who made the post said, yeah, I know it's a matter of support, but I am so frustrated right now when my ticket didn't get any response. I don't know what you were speculating about with multiple accounts and multiple characters. Of course, you can only play one character of an account at a time, but with multiple accounts, you can play multiple characters on multiple accounts. He says, sorry for my bad English, because it's not his native tongue. He has three accounts, each has one high level character that he uses as alternate builds. Other characters are low levels and are used for storages. Yep. I'm a hardcore player and hoarder, just like in Fallout 4. I posted this to raise some awareness because this could potentially happen to anyone. And the matter is, you can't really do anything about it to get them back, or whatever. Well, they just freely delete your characters, basically wipe all progress, all the hard work you invested in those characters. Yeah, I guess this hasn't happened to you, so you really don't care or see it as a big problem. But if this is legal, I will be very surprised, and I have nothing to say or to do with this game and this studio anymore. Sheesh! You see what I'm saying? Like, he's not exactly saying, you know, I'm going to file this lawsuit and go against Bethesda, but he's now thinking in terms of, is this legal or is this not? Like, why are they not responding to him? This and that. But it turns out, you know, after all this fight about saying it's not illegal, you can't do nothing about it, Lady Devon, the community manager for Bethesda, did reach out to him in this forum post saying, I am sorry to hear this. Can you send me a message with your ticket number you submitted? So she is trying to get back to him to figure out what was the cause of this exactly. And as far as I know, you can have mules that can hold items for you so you're not taking up as much space on your main. So he didn't get banned over that unless he was duping and he had a mass amount of carry weights on those characters. You know what I'm saying, guys. Like, over 100,000 carry weight or over the actual limit that you can carry. And it could have been by potentially a mistake, like he just threw a bunch of stuff on that character and it's just continued to increase carry weight even though he's not able to store it all in his stash. It could have been an accidental character wipe and I'm sure they can get his characters back. I really don't see Bethesda just saying, hey, you know what, I'm going to delete this guy's characters. Why not? Like, what would be the purpose of that? Why? You know? All that would just give them is negative feedback, and they got enough of that on their case. I'm sure that is not what they were wanting. They obviously did this for some sort of reason, but it definitely made this guy mad. And I can completely understand, especially if he doesn't even know the reason at the moment. Even when he does figure out the reason, and he might not be able to get his account back, of course he's still going to be angry. I mean, I would too, once again. Wouldn't you guys, if you were in his shoes? Like, imagine all the time that you have spent in the game. And then all of a sudden, all your characters were deleted. 
and all that progress that you just spent in the game was just gone. It's like you just wasted all of that time that you just spent. And yeah, as we know, time is precious to us. Like, we only got a certain amount of time here in life. Anyways, I'm not going to get too much deeper into this. Let's just say he is definitely furious. And it might have not even been Bethesda that deleted all of these characters. It could have been some kind of potential hacker on his account. But he did mention that he didn't give out his account info to anyone. And why would someone exactly target him? I don't know. Hopefully Bethesda does get back to him now because it seems to be definitely bothering him. And I wanted to bring this up to everyone because, like he mentioned, this could happen to anyone, apparently. Because if it happened to him unexpectedly, for no reason that he thinks anyways, it could also happen to anyone else unexpectedly, for no reason. Let's hope that's not the case. Let's hope this is the only report that we get over this because so far, it is. Anyways, now I'm going to go ahead and get into something else. I went over this the other day in a video. But I'm not sure if a lot of you saw that video or even heard about this. In case you don't know, now this is a legitimate thing that happened. A player was actually playing the vault raid and he actually lost his entire character's inventory from the new vault raid. It was a glitch that happened within the vault raid. And when I made this video, other people came out and had said that it did happen to them, but they didn't lose as much as he did. So, yeah, actually some people were saying, you know when the vault raid first opens up and that walkway comes out so we can get into the raid? Well, some players were stating that they went in too early and fell down into the darkness and lost some things from falling down in there. And well, similar story with this guy. This guy actually posted on Reddit first, and then he went to Bethesda forums and posted again. Well, his buddy from his party actually posted for him on the forums. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this, because I find this very terrifying, because once again, I have spent too much time on this game to just be simply losing things. And the good news is Bethesda is aware of these problems that are occurring in the game and have plans to fix them. They actually made some patch notes that will be coming in the future, resolving a lot of these problems that we have been complaining about. But before I get into all of that, let's go ahead and get into this first. So, as you can see, this Reddit post is titled, PC, Lost My Entire Character Inventory Trying the New Raid. And it reads, last night, as I tried entering the new raid vault cave, I fell through the blackness of the cave floor and through the map. It crashed the whole server, according to his teammates, and upon relaunching the game and rejoining a server, he respawned at Vault 76 with zero and carried weight. All of his weapons, armor, aid, and everything else was gone. Months of time was spent obtaining everything, and he opened a support ticket and got told by Bethesda that there is nothing that they can do, and all of his items are officially gone. I'm posting this so everyone can be aware and to vent my frustration. Woo! That blows. Just straight up blows. But the good news is Bethesda did reach out to this guy personally, and I think they will be helping him in some way. They can't exactly get everything he had back, but I think they're going to be doing their own little thing with him, so, you know, he's at least a little bit content over this happening. Oh man, though. The reason why I say that is because, as you can see, like I mentioned before, his buddy did make another post for him because, you know, his ticket wasn't getting exactly resolved immediately. And they were freaking out, so his buddy that was in his party team made a post on the Bethesda forums. And eventually they did get back to his ticket. So he updated that Reddit post that I just read to you to let us know that Bethesda really couldn't do much about getting his gear back. And he was just making this post to make it more aware. And that's the reason why I'm mentioning this stuff to make this kind of stuff more aware. Instead of just acting like everything is just rainbows and sunshines, like I have been since the get-go. I've been avoiding talking about negativity, but I feel like it's important to actually address every now and then. Not consistently, where I'm just doing it to milk views. You know what I'm saying. I'm sure you know what I'm saying. Because there's plenty of people out there that do that. Drama does sell. It does. But anyways, yeah, as you can see, Lady Devin, the community manager at Bethesda, reached out to him and said, I'm going to send you a private message on here. Which, that's good news. If Bethesda is saying that they're going to private message them, then more than likely something is going to be resolved privately, which is good. I mean, I hope the best for this guy. I hope he actually gets some things back that he had. 
I mean, that sucks. That really does. Hopefully, he gets more back than what he had because that's a scary feeling. I'm sure he was not feeling good whatsoever. Most of the players that are continuing to play Fallout 76 are hardcore fans. A lot of players just abandoned the game. Let's be real here. A lot of players have just abandoned the game. They'll be back, though, when Wastelanders comes out and those human NPCs are implemented into the game. But for now, yeah, a lot of players are just like... Goodbye, I'm out of here. No longer supporting this crap. See you later. Sign or suckers. Anyways, like I mentioned before, Bethesda does have some big plans for fixes and improvements for the game, which is great news because they do need to focus on that. As you can see, though, they released some of their upcoming fixes and changes they'll be implementing to the game. First off, they're going to be adding more Vault 94 rewards within the vault, which is great. It's going to get more players to actually grind it because there's going to be more of a reason to go through it now. They're also going to be focusing on server and stability and disconnect issues. They're also going to be focusing on that power armor exit bug. Phew! That has happened to me way too many times. Anyways, they're also going to be fixing armor penetration. They've heard our feedback that non-ballistic weapons should benefit from armor penetration effects. And with patch 13, they will. As an example, energy weapons with the anti-armor legendary attributes will now bypass energy resistance, which that's pretty cool. They're also going to be focusing on scout armor mods. Possum scout badges will now be rewarded again from the campfire tales and other events that would typically reward us with badges. Also going to be focusing on wiring. As you can see here, no more jumping when you are trying to wire up your base. They are currently planning to address an issue that could prevent you from properly connecting wires between two electrical objects in your camp or at workshops. They're also going to be focusing on fixing crops. Crops are going to receive a pair of fixes in their next patch, one that could prevent them from being placed correctly in certain situations, and another that could cause your crops to appear to float when planted on uneven terrain. And next up, they're implementing weapon and armor mod counts. A number of players have asked for a way to see how many mods they have left to unlock for different types of weapons and armor. Going forward, weapons and armor workbenches will now show the number of mods you've unlocked so far and the total number of mods available for an object. That's pretty cool. So you now know what you need to still collect and what you already got. So yeah, that's about wrapping up this video, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed this jam-packed Fallout 76 news video. I'm out of here, everyone. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, PEACE! That was a little dramatic. I'm bad at goodbyes, if you can't tell. See ya. Next time.